Welcome back. I realize it's been a while, so uh, this will probably be pretty quick, but I wanted to follow up right where I left off last time. And uh, if you're still following along in the book on page 72, there were some functions for further exploration. And so I've looked at those. And the first one is a substring. And since there wasn't too much discussion of it, oh, I already searched for it here is you put in the vector and for each element in the vector you can tell it where to stop and start and it pulls those out. So most simply we'll just we'll use the same example string from last time. So it's a character vector with four elements. So an example and this time we'll have it start start with the first element and say stop with the third. So it's worth noting that if there's not all of them, then it just stops there. And if there's more than that, then it cuts it off. So the second thing that I will try here is starting with the second element, and I'll still end with the third. And here I think it's worth noting that when there is not a second element, it just returns an empty string here. So just for Looking at this, I'm going to put this into A and then run A. We now have a vector with an empty element if that's what we wanted. So that is the substring. And the second one, which I can also see being useful, is the string trim. And let's look it up before we go into it. So this one we put in the character vector and say how, uh, um, how long we want it to be. So to me it seems a little bit more restricted, but if you know that you want the first number of every um, character string in there, then it would be pretty efficient for that. So string trim, and let's say example, and say we wanted the first one element on there. So suppose we wanted to know how each one of them started. Then we would, there we have it at the bottom here. Just to compare, let's try it one more time. Say we want the first two. There was only one in that one, the first two. And just for illustration, let's say we want the first three. There we would have the first three. So that is string trim. And the last one is abbreviate. I thought this one was the most interesting of the three. So this one takes the vector and abbreviates by the shortest that is unique. Uh, so you can see I already played with it here and I created one that had some overlap and some that were not. So I'll just show X here. Oh, oops, I must have had the sound on my uh, calls. So anyway, so abbreviate, where's X? Where were we? Okay, so X is right here. And let's just abbreviate X by, what did I try here? By the length. Uh, so I think I tried it with two. Oh, so two gives the minimum length. And uh, some of them clearly could not be abbreviated by as short as two. Uh, so AB and AB had to take an additional one. Just out of curiosity, what if we said the min length were three? So then it would give us the full length since they were uh, already that. Uh, one more try. Let's see if we leave it off since I do think that it uh, doesn't require it. Oh, okay. So it gives all of them. So it looks like for these purposes, you would have to tell it uh, how long, oh here it is, it says the minimum length 
default is 4. So if you had as short as one as these, and you wanted them to the very, very minimum. Let's try it with one and see if there is anything shorter. Okay, so if you wanted the very, very minimum abbreviation, say this one is the minimum, then you would uh, give it a 1. Otherwise, it defaults to 4. So that's where I will leave that one.